When the Wind Blows by Raymond Briggs Cheerio, Jim! Cheerio! Hello, dear. Hello, love. Did you have a nice morning, dear? Oh, all right, thanks. Rather uneventful. My life isn't very fast-moving or dynamic. Well, you are retired, James. You do seem a bit down, dear. Yes, well, been reading the papers in the public library all the morning. All those things, full of rubbish. I never look at them, except the stars. We must keep abreast of the international situation, ducks. The decisions made by the powers that be will get to us in the end. Politics and sports, that's all they're full of. It could affect us all, the ultimate determined in that. They say there may be a preemptive strike, dear. Oh, not another strike. It's wicked. I'd have them all locked up. Blessed communists. It all looks pretty humpty. It's not that sort of strike, ducks. Sausages or beef burgers, dear? Sausages, thanks. It looks as if the balloon could go up at any moment. What balloon, dear? Mashed or chips? Chips, thanks. Oh, I don't know. The balloon. Or is it a maroon? I can't remember. What are you talking about, James? It looks as if there's going to be a war, dear. Yes, they say it might break out at any time now. Well, at least you won't be called up, James. You're far too old. Thank you, my beloved. I'm still two years younger than you. Well, if the worst comes to the worst, we'll just have to roll up our sleeves, tighten our belts, and put on our tin hats to its fee day again. It won't be like that this time, love. I think this one is called the Big Bang Theory. It's all been worked out by brilliant scientists. Well, we survived the last one. We can do it again. It'll take more than a few bombs to get me down. Yes, we must always look on the bright side, ducks. Nice dinner, dear. The Prime Minister made a statement this afternoon in views of the deteriorating international situation. Warning the country, preparations are underway, outbreak of hostilities, fallout shelters, three days time. Crumbs! What's the matter there? Have you burned yourself? This is it, Tux. This is really it. Another sausage, dear? I shouldn't worry too much. It'll probably all blow over. Three days? Blimey. Three days. Language, James. Language. Crumbs! It's lucky I got more leaflets from the public library on me this morning. Here we are, see? The Householder's Guide to Survival. This one should be really authoritative. It's printed by the County Council. We better commence the construction of the fallout shelter immediately, dear. We must do the correct thing. There's treacle tart and custard or cold bread and butter pudding. Treacle tart, please. Fallout? I thought they did that in the army. No, dear, it's fall in in the army. Fall in. Thank goodness I got those official leaflets today. Suppose I hadn't. We'd have been totally unprepared. Just think. Do you have to dig a hole like the old Andersons in the war? Oh, no, dear. That's all old-fashioned. With modern scientific methods, you just use doors with cushions and books on top. Where on earth are we going to get doors from, James? Well, you just unscrew them, dear. You don't mean off our own house, James? Well, yes, dearest. You are not going to ruin the paintwork, James. Oh, don't worry. I can soon touch it in after the bomb's gone off. Well, mind you do. Just you be careful, James. Mind that paint, James. I hope you know what you're doing. I'll put the screws in a plastic bag. You only go and lose them. Remember, they're in the left-hand jug on the dresser. 
It's going to be very drafty with no doors on. I expect it's a safety precaution. It will let the blast go straight through. It says here, the inner core refuge should be placed at an angle of 60 degrees for maximum strength. I should place it up against the wall if I were you, dear. Yes, but which are the degrees? We haven't got any angles, unless it means in the corner. I think we did it at school, you had angles with degrees in. Only I can't remember properly. I'll ring our Ron, he'll know. Yes, Ron says I need a protractor. He says I can get one at Willis's. He was killing himself laughing, I can't understand it. I think it's nerves, he's gone a bit hysterical. You just stick a point in the middle of it and mark it off round the edge. Then you draw a line through the points. This gives you the angle with the degrees in it. Oh, I see, dear. Ron is not going to make an inner core or refuge. I remonstrated with him, but he was adamant. He says if London cops it, he'll cop it and not to worry, Dad. It's an irresponsible attitude. I'm a bit disappointed in him adopting that attitude. He was always a very responsible boy when he was in the cups. It was going to that polytechnic that spoiled him. He met some dreadful people there. Blessed beatniks. I don't suppose it will make a terrific amount of difference. The exact angle. It'll probably all fall down anyway with the bomb and that. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well, James. Yes, dear, but it is only temporary. After all, it will all be over in a flash. Meanwhile, on a distant plane. Funny to think they were on our side in the war. Oh dear, the Ruskies, with old Joe Stalin. Yes, he was a nice chap. I liked him, like an uncle he was. I liked his moustache and his pipe. Roosevelt was nice too. There was the three of them. Churchill, Roosevelt and Stalin, all good blokes. With old Hitler, Goering, and Musso and all that mob on the other side. You somehow knew where you were then. I don't even know who the people are these days. I expect it's all done by committees, dear. Yes, and meetings. I expect they have loads and loads of meetings and thus arrive at decisions. Commuters too. They all use commuters these days. It's got very impersonal. Jojo with cigar, old Stalin with his moustache. You knew where you stood. Do you think they'll invade? Oh no, we'll need to. It'll all be done by missiles, long range. Then they'll install commuters to take charge of us. It's funny to think there's no shelters this time. We had an old Anderson in the garden. I can see it now. We had nasturtiums growing all over it, and we painted the front green. It looked quite pretty. Next door grew cabbages on theirs. Yes, we had a Morrison. I used to sleep in it. I stuck pinup girls all over the inside. Betty Grable, Annie Shelton, Patrika Rock. The roof got all smoky because I used to read in bed with a candle. Yes, it was nice in the war, really. The shelters, the blackout, the all clear cups of tea, the ARP evacuees, London kids seeing cows for the first time, Old Churchill on the wireless, the nine o'clock news, Vera Lynn singing away, workers playtime, ITMA, spitfires and hurricanes in the blue sky over the cornfields, the white cliffs of Dover, old Jerry coming over every night. Those were the days. Didn't you dare use my best cushions from the front room? I'll get some old ones from upstairs. I'll put them in plastic bags. I don't want finger marks getting all over them. I shouldn't worry too much, love. They're bound to get dusty with all the fallout coming down. It says here we've got to lay in food supplies for 14 days. I'd better put a note out for 28 pints of milk then. I'll just pop out and get 14 loaves, dear. 
and a protractor. Anything else you want? Later. There's no bread ducks. Sold out. There seems to be some sort of panic purchasing. Can't be helped, dear. After all, there's a war on. Or nearly anyway. I hope you haven't left that cape dripping in the hole, James. Oh no, dear. Mr. Willis had sold out of protractors. I expect everyone wants 60 degrees. He was terrifically kind, Mr. Willis. He cut me out a bit of card with 60 degrees on it. Look. Oh, nice, dear. Here's the emergency supplies, ducks. Two packets of ginger nuts, half the cream sponge, a tin of pineapple chunks, and a tin of Christmas pud. It'll all be over by Christmas. Remember we used to say that, dear? Yes. Nowadays, it'll all be over by tomorrow tea time. You're not decorating now, James. We've got to paint the windows white, dear. Whatever for? It's for the radiation, I think. Like you do greenhouses, to keep out the sun. It's the correct thing. It won't be that hot, surely. Well, I don't know. They say the one at Hiroshima was equal to 1,000 suns, so it is quite hot. And besides, the powers that be are making much better ones now. Science has leaped forward with giant strides. Mind you don't get paint on those curtains, James. You should have taken them down first, you never think. I know that smile of yours, James. Keep doors closed to prevent the spread of fire, it says. But you've taken off half the blessed doors, James. Yes, dear. Won't that make the fire worse, then? Uh, well, I... Perhaps the blast will blow the fire out. Well, the inner core refuge looks quite cosy, doesn't it, dear? I hope those doors aren't marking the wallpaper, James. Come in and try it out, dear, please. Budge up, can't you, James? Careful, you have it over. Couldn't you have made it a bit wider? It's constructed in compliance with governmental specifications, dear. Well, they might have made it wide enough for two people. Suppose you were married. We are married, dear. Yes, well, there you are, then. What about if you had children? Where would they go? Oh, you'd just hold them in your arms. They'd soon fall asleep. Suppose they were 17 or 18, big boys with bristly chins and big boots on, skinheads. Well, in that case, you'd just add a few more doors. There's no world space for more doors. Oh, no. Well, our Ron was never a skinhead anyway. What on earth are you putting the food in there for? Well, that's where it's got to be. But why can't it stay in the larder and fridge? Because we must not emerge for the 14 days of the national emergency. You're not saying we've got to stay in that thing for two weeks? Well, yes, dear. Ask not to reason why. We must do the correct thing. What about the cooking, then? How do I get to the cooker? We'll have to use the little picnic stove, dear. And what about the toilet? Well, we'll have to have a potty or something. I can tell you now, James Bloggs, that I am going to go upstairs in the proper manner. But you mustn't emerge, dear, not for the 14 days of the national emergency. All right, then. How are you going to empty the chamber pot? Well, we'll just have to empty it down the toilet, I suppose. You just said we couldn't go to the toilet. Oh, yes. Well, uh, we'd better not cross our bridges till we come to them, eh? Look on the bright side, eh, ducks? Meanwhile, in the distant sky. It says here, two pints of water per person per day. I wonder if we've got enough bottles. I'll have a look under the stairs, dear. Later. I've measured the water into the bottles, James. I've labelled them so we don't get in the muddle. Oh, good. That's nice, dear. You're very efficient in a national emergency, dearest. I'll get on with you. It says here, D. Miscellaneous. 
salt, tomato ketchup and sauces, pepper, matches, toilet paper, disinfectant, vitamin tablets, tin opener, knives, forks, spoons. Funny. No plates. I wonder what miscellaneous is. What's all that, dear? I don't know. It's called miscellaneous. Pass it in, please. Funny. What, dear? In the governmental leaflet, it says, Remove thin materials from windows. And in the county council leaflet, it says, Hang white sheets in the windows. I wonder which is correct. Oh, it says peanut butter. We haven't got any. Oh, dear. Never mind, ducks. I don't like it, nor do you. No, but it's on the official list. Oh, dear. Don't worry, love. I expect we'll survive without it. It would probably go all runny in the heat anyway. You get terrific heat with these bombs, you know. Mind you, diet is very important. You are what you eat, and survival of the fittest, and that... That's why so many people are jogging and eating lots of all bran, I expect. Only the fittest will survive the outcome of the nuclear holocaust. They eat lots of beans, too. They give you when beans do. You certainly shouldn't eat beans, James. Let's not get personal, ducks. I'm trying to have a scientific discussion. If there really is going to be a war, who do you think will win? Well, the Americans have tactile nuclear superiority due to their IBMs and their polar submarines. But in the events of a preemptive strike, innumerable Russian hordes will sweep across the plains of Central Europe. Then the US Technical Air Force will come roaring in with their long-range bombers, super forts, B-17s and B-19s, bristling with guns, Terrific they are! Okay, you guys, let's go! They'd raise the rusky defenses to the ground. Then the Marines would parachute in and round up the populace. After that, the big generals would go over like Ike and Monty. And then the Russians would capitulate and there would be a condition of surrender. Then they'd install free and fair election. One man, one vote. And women too nowadays, of course. And thus the communist threat to the free world would be neutrified and democratic principles would be installed throughout Russia, whether they liked it or not. That's the world scenario as I see it at this moment in time. Monty, wasn't he in the war? Course he was. He practically won it. You remember, dear? Big beret with badges on it, tanks, the desert rats, El Alamo. But that was ages ago, dear. Yes, well, I expect he's getting on a bit. Probably been promoted. Well, likely dead. Monty? Dead? Never! I bet he is. It's about 40 years since the war, and he had a moustache then. Crumbs! Who's in charge now, then? One of those commuters, I expect. It says here... Place your national savings certificates, medical cards and birth certificates in a box. Here's a nice box, dear. I'll give it a good clean out. Thanks. We'd better keep it in a safe place. I wonder what will be a safe place. Meanwhile, in a distant ocean. charge of the Russians, dear? Oh, uh, it's Shavinsky, isn't it? Or Molotov? No, Molotov is just a cocktail, I think. Khrushchev, yes, that's right. He bangs his shoes. B and K. Bulgarian Khrushchev, that's them. And that bloke, Marx, has got something to do with it. What are you doing, dear? Blocking up the window in compliance with the governmental directive. It's the correct thing. Yes. Then there's the usual committee, of course. The common term, they call it. The Soviet Supreme. They're in charge of the BJK. That's the Secret Service. SS for short. Our lot is called EMI-5. It's all very complicated, ducks. Well, mind you don't scratch the polish. Is it any good writing him a letter, do you think? Who? 
This leader, B.J. What's his name? What are you going to say, dear? Oh, I don't know. Uh, dear sir, Mr. B.J. Thing. Uh, we, the people of Britain, are fed up with being bombed. We had enough of it last time with old Hitler. So will you just leave us in peace? You live your life and we'll live ours. Hope you are well. Please don't drop any bombs. Yours sincerely, Mr. and Mrs. J. Bloggs. Very good, dear. Very nice. It might be a bit late for the post. You know what the post is like these days. First class might just get there, but I must just do this list. <clears throat> Dustbin, calendar, books, games, paper, pencils, shovels, spade, crowbar, axe, hatchet, saw, whistle, and or gong for alarms. Suitcases for furniture or evacuation, string, pliers, first aid kits, safety pins, scissors, splints, aspirins, diarrhea remedies, tweezers, calamine lotion, TCP, war crisis additions, lice, flea powder, rodent poison, insulin, blood pressure tablets, rubber gloves, sanitary towels, mirrors, toilet paper, eye wash, I wonder if it's true about the paper bags, or is it just a joke? I never know if it's a joke or not. What's that, dear? Well, they say you should get into a paper bag just before the bomb goes off. Whatever for? I suppose it's like the white paint. It deflects the heat a bit. Sounds silly to me. There are some paper bags we had the spuds from the farm in them. There should be four. Well, be filthy, James. Are you sure that bag is clean, James? Yes, dear, I cleaned it thoroughly. You do look silly. I wonder if it's all right to have eye holes. They say it's the correct thing to wear white. People in Hiroshima with pattern clothes got burnt where the pattern was, and not so much on the white bits. Even the button showed up. Yes, but they were Japanese. Is there a clean white shirt, dear? Ready for the bomb? You're not going to wear that nice new one I gave you for Christmas? I don't want that spoiled. You can wear your old clothes for the bomb and save your best for afterwards. All right, dear. But is there an old white one? Without stripes. I don't want stripes all over me. Never heard such nonsense. You didn't think what color clothes we had on in the war? Lucky to have any clothes at all with everything on coupons. And besides... You are interrupting this program for an official government announcement. An enemy missile attack has been launched against this country. In just over three minutes. God almighty ducks, there's only three minutes to go! Oh dear, I'll just get the washing in. Come back you stupid fool and get in the shelter! Take cover! How dare you talk to me like that? James. Shut up and get in! There's no need to forget our manners just because there's a war! Do not leave your home! Shut up, I'm trying to listen! Stay indoors! I've never heard such language in all my life! Do not leave your home! For God's sake, shut up! Lie down! Oh dear, I've left the oven on! Get in! Get in! Get in! On no account, try the to- The cake will be burned! Was it? I should think so. Blimey! Are you all right, dear? Yes, thanks, love. Oh dear, I do feel all shaky. Never mind, ducks. We're still in one piece, eh? Yes, I think so. Wasn't it light? Yes, terrific. 
You get terrific light with these bombs. And the heat, I know. It's still hot now. Glad I didn't have a striped shirt on. I wonder how far we are from the epicenter. Or was it the hypocenter? I can't remember. Was that deal? Well, it's the centre of it all. You know, the bullseye, sort of. Bang in the middle. Or the middle of the bang, rather. I should think we were bang in the middle, dear. A direct hit? Just look at all that glass. No, it couldn't have been a direct hit, dear. We would have sustained greater damage and suffered greater casualties. Don't talk to me about damage. Just look at those curtains. Yes, but it would have been much worse at the epi hyper thing, dear. I don't see how it could have been much worse. I'll never get them clean. I'll give them a good soak tonight. Blessed Germans. Ruskies, dear. The shelter stood up well, didn't it? I constructed it in compliance with governmental specifications. I hope the cushions aren't spoiled. I think some of them blew off in the blast. I do like nice cushions. Yes, but there's more important things at the moment, ducks. And curtains. Cushions and curtains. I'd better get out and put them in to soak now. Stay in! Dear. Don't you shout at me, James. But it's the whole point, dearest. This is what the shelter's for. But the blessed bomb has gone off already. Yes, but the fallout is falling out now. See? No, I don't see. I can't see any soppy fallout. I'm getting out. Just look at all that mess. Stay still. There's not been an all clear, has there? Oh, no. That's right. No. There's not been an all clear. There you are, then. All clear, Raiders Pass. Remember in the shelters in the last one, eh, dear? At least us oldens aren't new to the game, eh? I remember the blackout. Oh, yes. Put that light out. Oh, perhaps that's how they got us. We didn't do the blackout. No, dear. It was a daylight raid. We better put our light out now. Come on. It's late. Let's get to bed. Whatever is this box of sand for, James? It had better not be for what I think it's for. I've told you what I think about that subject already. Bomb or no bomb, Hitler or no Hitler, I'm going to go to the toilet in the proper manner. No, dear, it's not an earth tray. The governmental directive says it's for cleaning plates and that. Cleaning plates? Why shouldn't we wash them properly and dry them on a nice clean tea towel? We washed up properly all through the war. But it's to conserve emergency water supplies, dear. What is the word coming to? You see, dear, tuck my feet in. My old mother would have a fit if she knew. Yes, but drying plates in an earth tray. Catch me eating off a plate covered in sand. You'd be the first to complain, dear. Bit of grit in your wrinkles and you're spitting and spottling all over the place. Tomorrow you can just put that thing outside for someone's cat where it belongs. Next day. I'm getting fed up stuck in this thing. I want to get out and tidy up. Just look at all that mess out there. We must do the correct thing, dear. We must remain in the inner core refuge. Ours not to reason why. Ours but to something or other. It tells you about this problem in the county council directive. I'll show you. Let's see. Where is it now? Ah, yes. Here we are. During this period, reduced external stimuli may produce problems of group behavior. Oh, yes. I see, dear. Steps to combat this may include the following. At intervals, stimulate group activities. Don't you dare start stimulating, James. I'm not in the mood. No, dear. It means discussions and that. It says discussions, card games, storytelling, quizzes, etc. Oh, well, what shall we discuss then? Well, let's see. What about world affairs? Affairs. Trust you to think of that. Men. All right, let's say the international situation then. 
Oh, bloody international situation. That's the cause of all the trouble. I know. What about interracial harmony in a multi-ethnic society? Good gracious, whatever's that? I saw it last week in a magazine in the public library. I learned it by heart. Interracial harmony in a multi-ethnic society. Good, isn't it? What does it mean? Oh, well, uh, I don't know. I didn't read it. I just like the words. Perhaps we'd better try storytelling. You tell me one. No, I can't. I feel funny. You're not a baby. Well, pretend I am. Don't be silly. Go on. No, you tell me one. I don't know any. There you are, then. What about a quiz? I spy with my little eye. Oh, not that. It's childish, James. Or oh, it says here, discuss the change conditions after an attack and consider how to overcome or adapt to them. Well, uh, let's start on that one, dear. Who's going to start the balls rolling? Shall I kick off then? Right, here goes. Uh, I think we could overcome the change conditions after an attack by, uh, all pulling our weight and, uh, putting our shoulders to the wheel so that we all pull together now that our backs are against the wall. And we can show these Jerry's, uh, I mean Ruskies, just what we think of them. And, uh, well, that's all, I think. Hooray, James! You ought to be a politician. That evening, it says, reading aloud to pass the time is a good idea. Good job I got this book from the public library. It's called Armageddon and You. There's a terrific bit in it about Western defences. Just listen to this. There are three BMEWS, Ballistic Missile Early Warning Systems. One PARCS, Perimeter Acquisition Radar Attack Characterization System. Then there's NORAD, North American Air Defense, and JSS, Joint Surveillance System, and then seven ROCCs, Regional Operation Control Centers. Then there's NADGE, NATO Air Defense Ground Environment, and several AWACS, Airborne Warning and Control Systems. All this is controlled by the NCA, National Command Authorities, by means of the NMCS, National Military Command System, which consists of an NMCC, National Military Command Center, and an AMCC, Alternate Military Command Center, and an NEACP, National Emergency Airborne Command Post and it all comes under WWMCS Worldwide Military Command and Control System Cool! We should be alright with that lot looking after us, eh ducks? Well, it didn't stop them from bombing us, did it? Oh, uh, well no, I suppose not really Still, just think it might have been worse. Got to look on the bright side, ducks. Besides, another thing the powers that be have created is called MAD. MAD? Yes, Mutual Assured Destruction. I read about it in the public library. I think my old dad was in the Mutual Assured Insurance. Penny a week it was in those days. This is an insurance, ducks. I think it covered the cost of your funeral. Yes, well, I suppose this is similar. It all comes out of our taxes. He had a lovely funeral, our dad. You don't pay any taxes now. You're retired, James. No, I'm fully paid up. My funeral is fully assured. It's time we went to bed. It's getting really dark. I'll sleep in my clothes as it's an all-out war situation. I might be called out in the night for an emergency. We must keep up our standards, James. 
I'm not going to sink to the level of the Germans. I'm going to wear a proper nightie. Ruskies, dear. They may need all able-bodied men at short notice. They'll soon change their minds when they see your pot-bellied little body. Next morning. Morning, dear. How do you feel? Oh, dear. I ache all over. So do I. I've got a terrific headache. I still feel tired. Never mind, ducks. It's probably shock. The bomb and that. It's bound to upset us a bit. After all, you don't get a nuclear bomb every day of the week, do you? Just as well. Never knew a bomb could give you headaches. Oh, yes, ducks. I told you these bombs have a terrific effect on all sorts of things. A nice cup of tea will perk you up. Funny, they've cut the water off. Still, that's logical. It might be contaminated. It's a wise precaution for the protection of the populace. Use the bottles, dear. Oh, yes, of course. The emergency reserve supplies. Most of them seem to have blown over in the blast, dear. The contents have been dissipated. We should have put corks in. Funny, the electric is off too. Still, bound to be conservation of energy resources. A wise governmental precaution during the period of national emergency. Good job we've got the little picnic stove here, eh, dear. Are there any aspirins? Mind it doesn't pop, James. I can't bear it when it pops. Nothing like a cup of tea. Crumbs, I must be dreaming. The news were just in time. No, nothing. There's nothing. All dead. What about the telly? Yes, of course. They may have filmed it all. We may see our bomb on the news. No, all dead. No picture? No. Not even just the voices? No, nothing. All dead. All dead. Have to wait for the paper. There should be some good pictures. These bombs are quite spectacular. He's late already. Yes, well, that's logical. There's bound to be delays and shortages during the period of national emergency. I'll miss the cereal on Woman's Hour. It was just getting interesting. I'll miss the archers. I wonder if the bomb has affected the archers. And the detective thing on telly. Shame. It's a real shame when people have been following a serial. You'd think they'd keep the serials going if nothing else. I expect they need all the channels for essential services, dear. Yes, news, news, news. There's never anything interesting on the news. They ought to put on cheerful programs at a time like this. Keep people's spirits up. Yes, but the populace has to be informed about the international situation, ducks. Oh, you and your blessed international situation. Crumbs, I haven't tried the transistor. No, it seems to have packed up. Probably needs new batteries. Yes, I must pop down to Willis's. They are priced these days. 67 pence last time, just fancy. We ought to get one of these new hi-fis when the endowment policy comes up. Oh, yes, or oh, stereo. I've only got two years to go. I hope Ron and Beryl got back all right. Oh, yes, they'll be all right. Oh, Ron is a very careful driver. I didn't mean the driving so much, dear. More the bomb. I'll give them a ring. Hello? No, it's not even ringing. I expect the lines are down. They say there are red-hot winds of 500 miles per hour. I expect that would render the lines inoperable. I'll drop them a line. Tell them to give us a ring. Do you think the post will be going? Oh, yes, bound to be. The powers that be will endeavor to maintain communications. Remember the blitz? The post went on just the same. It's government policy. It keeps up the morals of the populace. I hope Ron is insured. You did pay ours, didn't you, James? Oh, yes, dear. The bomb won't cost us a penny. We'll be well covered. Mm, lovely. We can have some nice new curtains for the summer. Later. 
crumbs. I wonder if it's all over already. If it is all over, I wish I knew who'd won. We can't have lost the war, can we, James? We won the other two. No, of course not. Remember old Churchill? We will never surrender. Yes, but Churchill's not Prime Minister now, dear. No, well, of course not. I suppose it won't be the same with, uh, with old what's-his-name, will it? Who is it, anyway? I must check the emergency supplies list. We never had time to finish it. It says here, a notebook for messages. Who are you going to write messages to, dear? Well, you never know. There's always a need for vital messages in wartime. Our lives might depend on a vital message getting through to headquarters. Oh, I see, dear. And it says, a whistle and gong for alarms. Oh, what will you do with that, dear? Well, if I saw Jerry coming down the lane, Rusky, I mean, I'd bang the gong, if we had one. Wouldn't he shoot you, dear? What? Just for banging a gong? He'd be well within his rights to shoot you if there's a wall on. Crumbs! You really think so? Just for banging a gong? I'm glad we haven't got a gong. We've got a whistle. Have we? Where is it? I'm not sure. Hmm, never mind. Let's leave it. What's this other dustbin for, James? Well, one's for rubbish and the other's for... Well, you know, dear. In plastic bags. What are you talking about? Well, I told you we won't be able to use the toilet, dearest. Yes? Well? Well, the... Uh will have to be disposed of. Disposed with, dearest. It's the correct thing. The powers that be and the county council recommend the use of plastic bags and they can recommend till they're blue in the face, James Bloggs. I've said my last word on that subject. My lips are sealed. Later. Oh, I do feel tired, really exhausted and all dizzy. Nervous exhaustion due to unaccustomed lifestyle. That's what that is. How is your headache, dear? Just the same, thanks. Aspirins didn't seem to do any good at all. I think I've got a temperature. I feel all hot and shivery. You do look pale, dear. I should have an early night. I must clean up. Suppose someone comes and sees the place in this state. We might have visitors. Yes. The emergency services should arrive today. I'm surprised they've not come before. I expect they've got a lot of people to attend to. Oh yes, we're only an outlying district. They'll be heavily engaged within the stricken area itself. Will it be like Meals on Wheels, dear? Yes, I should think so. There'll be mobile canteens and soup kitchens, teams of doctors and nurses, helicopters flying in blankets and medical supplies. It will all move smoothly into action, you bet. They'll all be here in next to no time. The governmental authorities have been aware of this eventuality for years, so continency plans will have been formulated long ago. We won't have to worry about a thing. The powers that be will get to us in the end. I hope they come soon, dear. I'm not feeling very well. I wonder if we'd have been better off in the cellar. Oh no, dear. Too damp. Think of my rheumatism. Would you like a bite to eat, dearest? No, thanks. I'm right off food. So am I. I must go to the toilet and I don't want any arguments. Blessed dust everywhere. Oh, crumbs! I forgot! We're supposed to stay in the inner core or refuge. Well, it's too late now. We've been out for ages. Oh, blimey, it was the whole point. I wonder if there's any radiation about. Well, I can't see anything. Hurry up, dear, and get back in the inner core or refuge. We'd better have an early night. Well, if you can't see it and can't feel it, it can't be doing you any harm, can it? The following morning. Better try and eat something today, dear. I was sick three times in the night and my headache is even worse. 
Let's have a walk around the garden, dear. I've just read it's only 48 hours in the inner coral refuge, not 14 days. A bit of fresh air is all we need. I'll get a nice lettuce. Crumbs, look at the door. The paint is all gone, scorched down to the wood. Never mind, dear. You said you'd burn it off one day. The leaves have all gone off the apple tree ducks. Oh yes, what a shame. Still, it will be lovely in the spring. It is spring, dear. The heat has affected the hedge, love. The beans look a bit shriveled. And I think the lettuces have evaporated. They do have a high water content. Can you see any fallout falling out, James? No, the sun is shining. They didn't blow up the sun, thank goodness. Oh no, dear. Science is still in its infancy. What does the fallout look like, dear? I don't know. The governmental directive neglects to mention how the populace could recognize it. I expect it's a bit like snow ducks. The grass looks a funny color. Yes, I'll pop down to Mr. Sponge's tomorrow and get some bone meal and dried blood. He may be close due to the bomb, dear. What, old Sponge? Mr. Day's tray? Not him. He'd rather die. It's a really lovely day. Perhaps the bomb has brought some nice weather. We could do with some sun. It needs something to bring the garden on. The milkman's not been yet. He's late. Oh well, that's logical. He's bound to be a bit late after the bomb. Perhaps he's been called up to fight or something. Oh yes, well, maybe. But they'd have got a woman or something. Very quiet, isn't it? Yes, funny. No trains? No traffic? I expect they're all having a good lie-in after the bomb. Terrible smell of burning. Oh yes, well, bound to be. That's logical. It's like roast meat. Yes, roast dinners. I expect people are having their Sunday dinners early this week due to the unexpected circumstances. The road's gone all funny. Seems to have melted a bit. I expect that's why the milkman's late. He's got stuck somewhere. I wonder if there's a proper war one. I wonder who's winning. Never mind, it'll all be in the papers, dear. Come to think of it, he's late too. He missed us all together yesterday. Well, you can't expect things to be normal after the bomb. Difficulties will be experienced throughout the duration of the emergency period. Normality will only be assumed after the sensation of hostilities. Oh dear, I think I'm going to be sick again. <laughs> There, there, ducks. All better now. I had the most terrible diarrhea this morning. Nerves, dear. Just nerves. I'm the same and I'm a man. Let's sit in the sun for a bit. Don't you think we ought to clear up, dear? Yes, later on. I feel a bit weak and dizzy. We'll make a start soon. Oh, suppose Jerry comes this afternoon. Ruskies, dear. No, they'd wait for the fallout to clear. Too dangerous for a few days. We've got plenty of time. The situation is well in hand, you bet. Our boys will be lying in wait for them. I expect they've laid a trap. Jerry will walk straight into it. Hello? Sun's gone in. Clouds coming up. Looks like rain. Later. It's raining. I'm going in. Rain! Yes, we can save it! Don't you get wet, James. You'll catch your death. We'll be all right for water for a while now, dear. Do you think rainwater is all right to drink? Oh, yes, of course it is. There's nothing purer than rainwater, is there? Everybody knows that. Perhaps I'd better boil it. Best to be on the safe side. Oh, yes, I suppose so. We don't want to take any unnecessary risks. It may prejudice our chance of survival. What do you mean, James? We have survived, haven't we? Yes, I know, but after the bombs on Japan, people died ages later. I forget exactly why. Perhaps they didn't take precautions. Yes, 
I expect they neglected to do the correct thing. And anyway, that was years ago. Science was in its infancy. We're better equipped to deal with the situation in the light of modern scientific knowledge. Yes, nowadays there's bound to be all sorts of antidotes and protectives. When the medics get through, they'll probably just spray us with some antidote, give us a couple of pills, and in no time we'll be as right as rain. I'm glad we moved to the country when you retired, dear. Yes, it's much more peaceful. And if we'd still been in London, we'd probably have been bombed out by now. Yes, unless we'd been evacuated. Oh, that was only children. And women too, of course. I'd have been requisitioned for essential war work. But you're far too old. You're retired. Yes, but all age groups are pressed into essential service during times of national emergency, dear. I'd have been an airway warden, or stretcher bearer, Red Cross and St. John's Ambulance Brigade, or fireman in the docks. Jerry up above, fire bombs raining down, up the turntable ladders, carrying women to safety. Oh, look at old Jim, he's got nerve. Who's class that man? Oh, you are ever so brave, hold me tight. Trust you to think of that, Jim. I wish we had neighbours. I'd like to ask someone what's going on. Well, I warned you, dear. This cottage is a bit isolated, I said. You're not going to like it, I said. I wish we didn't have to stay put. I quite fancy a pint. I said I'd see old George down the half moon today for a game of darts. I expect he'll be busy with his cows after the bomb. He might have put them off laying. Milking, I mean. Yes, it may have curdled the milk or something. These bombs have a terrific effect on things. He may have to switch over to yogurt. Yes, lots of people's lives are going to be considerably affected by the bomb. London Airport will have been knocked out, I expect. Yes, bang goes a lot of people's holidays this year. The Yanks won't come flocking in. Oh no, not unless to help us against the Ruskies. Remember in the war? Gorni Gomcha! We used to stand on the railway embankment. And the Yanks used to shower us with gum and chocolate and K-ration. Terrific it was. I wonder if the Ruskies chew gum. Gorni Gumski, comrade! You won't be able to say that, James. They're the enemy. Oh yes, I keep forgetting. Crumbs! We won't have to try and kill them, will we? Well, I suppose so. That's what you're supposed to do to the enemy, isn't it? Crumbs! I hadn't really thought of that. You mean to say, if one of them comes through that door this afternoon, I'm supposed to try and kill him? Well, not you, James. After all, you're retired. What would I kill him with? A bit of old iron, I suppose. I must mend those socks for you, James. They'd have Tommy guns. They always do. He'd mow us down, Hilda. If a German sees you in those socks, he'll think you're just a peasant. Die! Your English are pig dogs, he'd say. Enemies of the fatherland. Heil Hitler! Ra -ta 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 -ta. Oh, no, sorry. That's last time. I keep forgetting it's the Ruskies now. No. Just suppose one did come. Great big Russian. Big overcoat, great big boots with snow on, great furry hat, all covered in belts of ammo and grenades, blooming great Tommy gun pointing straight at us. What am I supposed to do? Well, we could offer him a cup of tea, I suppose. We mustn't be collaborators, Hilda. They'd shave our heads. Russians like tea. A cup of tea wouldn't hurt, surely. I suppose it's better than being mown down in the hail of bullets. Crumbs! They might round us up and take us off to the concentration camps. Why? We've not done anything. We're not Jews or anything. Your grandfather was a Jew. He was not. Well, only partly. They'd send us to Liberia, down the salt mines. Whatever for? I don't know. They always do. 
Perhaps Russians eat a lot of salt. I expect they're quite nice, really. I saw the Russian dancing on telly once. All in boots. They seem nice. Oh, yes. I expect some of them are nice. There were supposed to be some nice Germans last time. Next day. I think we're running out of water again, dear. The rainwater's all gone. We've still got a pint of milk. Better save that for tea time. I can't bear tea without milk. Posh people have lemon in it. I know, horrible, sharp. Still, I suppose we'll have to get used to it. After all, there's a wall on. Careless talk costs lives. You don't think there's anyone listening to us, do you? The enemy? They do have listening devices and high-altitude renaissance aircraft. I shouldn't think we've been bugged, though. We're not important enough. Bugged, James? Yes, they use bugs. They instill bugs in houses. Horrible. Typical Germans. It was them invented German warfare. Ruskies, dear. They never give a thought to the poor housewife trying to keep the place clean. Crumbs. I wonder if it was an American missile falling a bit short. That happened in the war. Blokes getting shelled by their own guns. Be funny if it was an American missile that had landed on us. Wouldn't it, dear? I can't see it's very funny, James. No, well, funny peculiar, I mean. Are they worse than the Russian ones? Oh, I shouldn't think so, love. I expect they're all much of a muchness. They all work on the same principle. It's called mega death, I think. So many millions of people dead per bang. Any ketchup, dear? I expect the quantity is similar either way. Are all the bangs about the same size, then? Oh, no. There's one megaton and ten megaton and that. It's just a question of how big a bang you want to make and how many millions of people you want to kill. More big beans, dear? No, thanks. I'm a bit off food. Then there's the overkill, see? That's where they kill more people than they really need to. Say you want a bang big enough to kill one million people, and you go and use a three million people bang. It's terrifically wasteful of energy in a present economic climate. I see, dear. Yes, there's one thing about the present economic situation. See, it's such a shame we can't wash up. In order to conserve world energy resources, the powers that be will only use the smallest possible bang. I can't bear it. I expect that's why we're still here. We're running out of crockery. We could say we owe our lives to the world economic procession. Put the kettle on, will you, ducks? There's no water, dear. Oh, no, of course. Just have to have milk, then. That pint has gone bad, dear. The fridge has been off. Oh, heck. Well, black coffee, then. There's still no water, dear. Whoa, what are we going to drink, eh, eh? What are we going to drink, for God's sake? Don't shout, dearest. I'm sorry, love. I'm just terribly thirsty. How about a nice sweet, dear? There's only one left. It's a black currant throat pastel. You have it. No, you have it. Or we'll cut it in half. That's fair. Later. Eek! I'm coming, I'm coming! There's a rat! A rat! A rat in the lavatory! Ooh, ooh. I saw it! Its tail was waving in the pan! Never mind, it won't hurt you, dearest. The pants all dry and, and its head was round the bed, just its bottom end sticking out. The tail! Oh, the tail! Horrible! Horrible! There, there. I'll pop down to Willis's in the morning, get some warfaring. At least it shows the drains aren't blocked. Oh dear, I do feel queer, all oh, shaky. Well, it's bound to upset you a bit. The bomb, I mean. 
We'll just have to acclimatize ourselves to the post-nuclear area. It could be okay. Wiping the slate clean, starting afresh, a new world. Prejured of all the old vices, like London after the fire of London. The new Elizabethan age will dawn. Britannia will rise again with fresh fields and pastures new to conquer. The old empire will live again, rising like a phoenix from the ashes. Have you got lipstick on, dear? Lipstick? What do you mean, James? You know I haven't worn lipstick for years. Well, your lips are all red. Ugh, my gums are bleeding. I thought there was a funny taste. Shrinking of gums, causing ill-fating dentures. That's what that is. Better get to the dentist when the emergency has rescinded. There was blood when I went to the toilet this morning. Yes, me too. Piles, that is. Hoveloids. A common complaint in middle-aged people like ourselves. I'll pop down the chemist when the crisis pales into insignificance. Get some of those suppositories. Oh dear, I think I'm going to be sick. There, there, ducks, all better now. Don't upset yourself, love, don't cry. I expect it's due to the vibration. Like being in the car. You remember that time we went to Bournemouth and you were sick in the coach? Don't worry, ducks. There can't be anything wrong with you. I expect it's just the after effects of the bomb. Next day. Ooh, I do fancy a nice cup of tea. Do you think the cows will be affected by the bomb, dear? Oh no, I shouldn't think so. They're all out in the country. Supplies of milk will be maintained. It is essential for the maintenance of health of bones and teeth. Yes, but we live in the country, dear. Yes, I know, dear. Well, the grass is all dead and bloody. Yes, sir. Well, I don't know. I expect there may be a temporary containment of supplies. I suppose we'd better just sit here and wait for help to arrive. Oh yes, the emergency services will have sprung into action at the first alarm signal. I hope they get here before the enemy. I hope Beryl and Ron got back alright. Oh, they'll be alright. They'd have been safely home long before the bomb. Oh, Ron's a sensible boy. At the first siren, he'd get the whole family down the shelters right away. There aren't any shelters, dear. Oh no, I forgot. But he'll be alright. I gave him the governmental leaflet. He'll be alright with that. That will afford him the maximum protection available to the populace. He'll take cover immediately and adopt all the proscribed precautionary measures. He's no fool, our one. He's not likely to get hot under the collar. He won't go to pieces. The whole family will stick together. Oh, look. There's fully blue spots on my legs. Various veins. That's what that is. A common complaint amongst the middle-aged segment of the populace. Nothing to worry about. They don't look like veins to me. I don't like the look of it. Oh, you are a baby. You're a born warrior, you are. Try and look on the bright side, Edax. Look, even I've got funny blotches on my skin. See? And I'm a man. Too much tin food, that's all that is. Yes, Pilchards never did agree with me. Shall we have a sing song, dear? Take your mind off. What's the use of worrying? It never was worthwhile. So pack up your troubles in your own kit bag and smile, smile, smile. Mind, you're missing your shirt. Oh, sorry. Must put some germaline on these spots. Yes, they'll soon clear up. 
I'll pop down the chemist in the morning. Get some Savlon. Yes, we could do with some lozenges or pastilles too. I've still got a terrible throat. So have I. I wonder if he'll be able to sell us some water. I'm going to have an early night, James. We could do with a good long rest after that blessed bomb. Oh yes, it's bound to take it out of you. A thing like that, a shock to the system. Oh yes, it's bound to shake you up a bit. I expect it affects the aeons in the atmosphere. Yes, I expect so. Oh, look, my hair's coming out. Don't worry, dearest. Women don't go bold. The scientific fact. Shall we get into those paper bags again? Whatever for, dear? Well, you never know. There might be another one while we're asleep. I suppose it wouldn't hurt. It would be a sensible precautionary measure in the circumstances. After all, this is an all-out war situation. Another IBM might come over. Oh, it's stuffy in these bags. Now you know what it feels like to be a potato. Yes, I should hate that being buried in the ground. Oh, so would I. Give me cremation every time. Oh, me too. We'd better just lie here and wait for the emergency services to arrive. Yes, they'll take good care of us. We won't have to worry about a thing. Just leave everything to them. They'll know what to do. Yes, the governmental authorities will know what to do with us. The powers that be will get to us in the end. You have got the box with our medical cards and birth certificates, haven't you? Yes, dear. They're quite safe. Night night, Hilda. Night night, Jimmy dear. That night. Shall we pray, dear? Pray? Yes. Crumbs. Who to? Well, God, of course. Oh, I see. Yes. If you think it would be the correct thing. It can't do any harm, dear. Okay, here goes. Uh, dear sir. No, that's wrong. How do you start? Oh, God. Our help in ages past. That's it. Keep it up. Almighty and most merciful Father. Uh, that's good. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here. Unto thee, I shall fear no evil. Thy rod and thy staff comfort me all the days of my life. Uh, lay me down in green pastures. I can't remember anymore. That was nice, dear. I liked the bit about the green pastures. Oh, yes. Into the valley of the shadow of death. Oh, no more, love. No more. Road.